what I wanted to talk about in fathering if Jesus and when Jesus said you've seen me you've seen the father now you know the seven vision statements of the church because you became a member and as a faithful member with a good heart you know the seven vision statements oh thank you very much praise the Lord and if you don't see it go and stand in front of that okay we've put it out there for you disciple will train activate plant reach enjoy okay what are we talking about in Joe in John the seven I am's first of all when we planted the church I said God what is the church all about God said it's I it's me having a home the father and the son is making a home for his father the son is taking the church church means what what's the word church The Greek word ecclesia, that means the called out ones. Church, you are called out of darkness, called out of the rubbish. So I'm the church, I'm called out of the rubbish. Great. To do what? So that you can be perfected by Jesus to become a home for the Father. So the victorious church, at the end of everything, Jesus will present the church to the Father as his home our father's home and father will present the church to jesus as his bride amen what an honor that god decided that you and me will be the best present from the father to his son the bride and that the son believes that we will be the best home beyond heaven for his father that's an awesome 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 privilege are you with me? But in all of that, I said, okay, Lord, if we're going to build with Jesus, what principles? And then I felt from, in, from the book of John, look at the seven specific places where Jesus was called the good shepherd, the bread of life, the way, the truth, and the life, the resurrection and the life, the true vine, the door of the sheep, and the light of the world. And then do what he's doing with him so what is the good shepherd doing he's putting patterns in you so that he will not like many of us sometimes in the church not in this church need to get the guys to come and to come you know not take the sheep and hey, ha, 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 ha. So all the sheep will move in the right same direction but that the shepherd will walk in front and he will speak and all the sheep will follow that's how it worked in israel so to get that pattern in we call discipleship so disciple with a good shepherd what are we talking if jesus as the good shepherd that will always be there always be there with the sheep if the lion comes if the bear comes even like through david the good shepherd will always be there and he's saying that the father perfect father first quality of a perfect father is presence you guys know this amen so the biggest quality of a father is he's there presence he's present everybody say presence the second one the bread of life bread of life god will give you a father will provide provision everybody say provision so jesus showed the heart of the father and if you work with the bread of life with the resources god gives you you build his kingdom you build his kingdom you don't build for yourself you build his kingdom why because you have respect for the bread of life that provides for you amen the third one the way the truth and the life god is the way with that you need to be if you honor and respect the way truth and the life jesus is the way truth and the life you'll be teachable and you will learn how to find the way in him you have a strategy you have a way to go if you don't see the way jesus in that strategy it's not from god don't yeah you with me just smack your brother or sister in love and say are you awake right we are going for a landing come 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 the way the truth and the life first one the good shepherd says the father's presence secondly the bread of life saying the father's provision thirdly the way the truth and the life the father's persistence for a quality life he wants to train you. He wants to show you the strategy. He wants to show you the truth. That you don't believe all the rubbish, the lies, the deception. That you are not misled. That you don't be believe all the rubbish the world is giving you or whatever the world is telling you what a failure you are. 
But if can you believe the truth of what God's word, what he's saying about you and be teachable, then you will find the way because Father is persistent for you to have a quality life. Persistence from the Father. But this is what you're supposed to show people. They must know that Father wants to be with them, His presence. They must know that Father wants to provide for them. They must know that Father is persistent for them to have a quality, excellent life. Number four, Jesus, the resurrection and the life. Saying that Father's power, Father's strength is there for you. His vitality, His strength is there for you. It will, he will sustain you. Because he's the resurrection in life. What are we talking about? The resurrection. Death cannot hold you. It didn't hold him. It will not hold you. Death will work for you. Let's say death will work for me. So don't try to survive. That there will be enough provision. Don't try to survive. But, but understand death of your flesh tomorrow will bring more of God. The death of your flesh tomorrow. There will be more of God. Less of you. Because one day when you die, there will be all of God and nothing of you except through God. So tomorrow death will work for you. If it's the death of my flesh, less of me, more of him. He's the resurrection and the life. And if you honor the resurrection and the life in you, death will work for you. Because Father's strength is there for you. Romans 8, now if the spirit who raised Christ from the dead is living in you, the spirit in you raised Christ from the dead, if he is in you, how much more will he strengthen your mortal bodies to live for him? Let's say the spirit in me raised Christ from the dead. Remember that. Now honor him and let him strengthen you. Okay? The resurrection and the life. Father's strength. And power. Number six. The daughter of the sheep. The daughter of the sheep. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Number five. That's the true vine. Jesus is the true vine. What is he talking about? Father has a productive life for you. Success. God wants a certain success. But not your definition of success. Find out God's definition of success. Okay? For you to be fruitful. For you to be fruitful. There's a productivity in you. You can be productive. It's already in you. It's already in you to have a 30, 60, 100 fold harvest through your life. If you just surrender and honor the good shepherd. Honor the bread of life. Honor the way the truth and life. Honor the number four. Resurrection and life, honor the true vine. True vine, John 15 verse 5. Without me, you can do nothing, God said. But that's the choice. Oh man, you can do a lot of rubbish out of your own. But you can decide, I will do nothing except if it's him through me. Him through me. Then you will be productive. Then you will be successful. Successful. Are you with me? Oh, please don't die on me now. Okay. Give me that. Have mercy on me for the last 10 minutes before 1 o'clock. Okay. Where are we now? Number 6. Number 6 is the door of the sheep. Jesus is the door of the sheep. He's a good shepherd, but he's also the door. Door of the sheep is, what do we have? Presence, provision, persistence for quality life, power, productivity, potential opportunity. There's always potential opportunity when Christ is there. When Christ is in your life, there will always be a potential excellent opportunity for you. You don't wait for circumstances to give you an opportunity. You don't pray for a door to open. Because Satan and hell can open a door also. No, I pray, I've applied all these places uh, for this job or for, to study this and to study that. I will see what door God opens. How do you know that God opened the door? I mean, the mafia can also open a door for, the, for some job, you know? Trusting God for a big car and this and this. And the drug lord is giving me a position. Oh, God opened the door. Rubbish. Open door does not mean... Gee, I mean, the devil gave Jesus an open door on the mountain. Yeah, the kingdoms of this world can become the kingdoms of our God. I give you an open door. No, you need to see in the middle of that door 
the one that is the door of the sheep. And you go through Jesus Christ as the door into that opportunity. Are you still here? Father. And that's how you're supposed to present to people potential opportunities they have in Christ. The people must know God's presence. He wants to be with them. God's provision. God will provide for them. God is persistent for quality life. Not giving you a boring religious life where you're not allowed to do a lot of things. God's power is there for you. God has a productivity and a success in a, for you. And God has potential opportunities for you. Who will let them know that this is not a boring religious God? They must believe that if you cannot present the Father. And it's not their fault, it's our fault. It's a church not being a father to Bloemfontein. That's going to change in Jesus' name. Amen. Number seven, last one. Jesus, the light of the world. A perfect impact. God wants to have a perfect impact. In the essence of the throne of God is the light that is shining forth. Because in the throne you see the perfection of everything of who God is. Of who God is. But our flesh feel exposed. Our flesh could feel ashamed. You know, I must come in the light. So now I'm going to be in trouble. What's knipe kat in die donker? I don't know whether it is in English. But in any case, knipe the cat in the dark. But bottom line... We feel sometimes more comfortable in the darkness, you know, with some of our struggles, with some of our stuff, because we're going to be condemned, we're going to be ashamed in the light. But when I find the light as my home, when I find the light as my home, God can have a perfect impact, perfect impact. Because if his light is there, then we can see the snake, then we can see the spider, then we can see the rubbish, and we can clean it up. Amen. Love the light. Let's say, I will love the light. There's a scripture that says, in your light, I will see the light. In your light, I will see the light. And you're supposed to enjoy God's light. Enjoy God's light because he's called you out of darkness into his marvelous, not into his light, into his marvelous light, into his glorious light. His light where you in that place, wow, about him. Are you with me? May God help you to walk in the light. You still here? Okay. That is how you will present your perfect father. And you have that honor through the example of Jesus Christ. Father, the people out there. Father, the people out there. But that means allow God to be your father. When we're going to have communion now. And we end off with that. I want you through the blood of Christ to come back to your father. And in the first service also I had some people. And while every, hand, every head is bowed and eyes closed, please. If you are here and you need to come back to the... Can we have all the eyes closed? If you are here and you need to come back to the father... For the first time of maybe a prodigal son and you know you walked away I just want you to raise your hand and I just want to pray for you for a special special grace on your life Father I pray for every hand that is up right now in the name of Jesus Christ oh God that you will meet them in a special special way in a special place in Jesus name that they will just experience you as their father you as their father, that you are saying, welcome home, my son, my daughter. You are so welcome home. I pray that you will meet them and surprise them in a very special way, that you will heal the hearts, deal with the disappointment, sometimes even in themselves, Lord. But they can know that they are so welcome through the blood of Christ. I thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank you, Father, that then we all can pray that we all will come back in all these facets. That we will grow in all these facets before you. Thank you, Father, that you come and do that. And even as we partake in the communion, that we know we have boldness only, only through the blood of the perfect Lamb. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.